Hello everyone and welcome back to Everyday Husband Quotes, the channel for marriage advice, marriage entertainment, and everything else, marriage. Hey, hey guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So I do want to get into this whole Kai and Alexa situation from season two of Put a Ring on It and they're back and forth on social media. Now, I don't think that they are beefing with one another, but I do believe that there's a secret agenda and I don't think the secret agenda is so much from Alexia's end, but more so on Kai's end. And I'm going to explain that in just a bit. So from the beginning, I also believe that production set Darian up with his type to make him file for the okie dokie. However, when Kai became acquainted with who Darian was to the point of his celebrity status, you know, I believe she set out on a mission for a come up. In other words, honey, she was clout chasing. And Alexia actually mentions that in this IG that I'm about to show you. Now, I want you to understand that Kai does have a beauty bar. And she mentions that to Darian on the show. And for me, if I am trying to have a come up, what better way to get my name and business out there by being on a national televised show with a rapper who has made a name for himself. I also have footage of Kai and Darian hanging out even as late as July 14th which was only like a month ago at his condo. At least that's what it, it looks like. It looks like the alleged condo that he was supposed to get rid of. So before we get into the clip with Alexia and then the clip with Kai and Darian, let's get into these posts from social media, y'all, from Kai and Alexia because they've been going back and forth. It does get a little bit messy, but I know that's what y'all are here for. So Kai says, these people are trying their best to get a reaction out of me. I've been keeping quiet, trying to stay away from the negative but i will beat a bees like stop playing with me and kai actually is directing those comments to the other cast made on the show jessica who's the bright skin curly hair girl and here's a screenshot of some of the messages that were going on between them now kai and alexia like i said have also been going back and forth on social media but they've been going back and forth in the dms and alexia tells kai this she says i believe you now i know is you really looking for my number is what was told to me Kai says, man, beat it. You know I didn't ask for your number. I could have easily did what you just did and hit you up myself. Alexia says, well, Darian said you did, period, on the show. And Kai says, no, he didn't, Alexia. I told him to call you in front of me. That's what was said. I didn't ask for your number. Alexia says, I don't have no beef with you. And clearly he lied. And she leaves her phone number, I guess, for Kai to call her, y'all. Now, Kai says, well, it's definitely over here. Saying that, you know, we definitely got beef over here. You came out the gate calling me a... I'm not cool with that. And Alexia says, what was told to me is why I said that. And yes, he did, Kai, it's recorded. He said you was blackmailing him to keep him bringing you on dates. So what they got to do with calling me in front of you? He told everybody, so what am I missing? Kai says, I don't give a, if he did tell you, he probably said that to calm your butt down since you about to hurt yourself worrying about me. And Alexia says, girl, wrong. No one was worried about you period lol once again what they got to do with him telling everyone including production etc girl bye now kai says okay and stop calling people but we don't have nothing to talk about i don't want to hear any recordings of smoke talking to me you ain't the only one that has received we can't have no conversations because you've been coming for me since day one we've been past conversation and alexia says i ain't never called you stop it stay out of my inbox you keep listening to smoke i've been done with him understand that you think other women ain't come at me since the show stuff i never knew smoke is the issue period you can't see that i'm the breadwinner she says not him he can't do nothing for me and keep your sister out my inbox and y'all i could go on and on in these comment section because that's what they went in the dm on and on but i do want you guys to listen in on these clips also leave your thoughts and as always thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it and i will talk to you guys in the next video no we did not we in us together. No, we did not. We are here to talk about what is going on with the show. That's the only reason why we're on here. We you guys working out. We don't go together. <laughs> we're on here to talk about what has happened. One hundred percent. We real. 
Smoke got somebody, though, because she keep calling his phone. Why the other girl lied about how long they had been together if the show was real? Just because the show is real doesn't mean... People, people yeah, just because people the show... Lie on TV just the because time. the show is real doesn't mean people don't lie. People lie on TV all the time. Do y'all get along with the other cast? No. Who dislike y'all the we most on the cast? We don't care. <laughs> That's what this like a, we don't care. Did y'all know each other before the show? No. Well, I didn't know who you was until they... I told you that. Until I pulled up. They were like, okay, this is such, 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 such. Like, I ain't even know... Huh? Right. I mean, you were really... You were really... Smoke, do you feel a type of way when she goes with another dude? Ooh. No. Smoke said he be wanting her to get the hell on. Peace. Every time she went with another dude. Peace. So, I ended up with this peace. We're not to... ah. Ah. I was talking about you love with the bump. <laughs> What is that? What is that? Girl, pretty black. That was a good one, girl. But thank you. Thank you, girl. Do you think the show would change the way you do different stuff in your next relationship? I'm not understanding that question. No. What is he trying to say? Who idea was it to go on the show? On the show. Our idea. Mm -hmm. Really didn't have no idea. Like, it wasn't their idea. They came. Asked to go. Yeah, they they asked him to go. Somebody said, "Do you feel pressure still about the marriage?" Cause no, not at all. New no pressure. I knew the show wasn't real when I heard fourteen years. The show is very real. Show just, is real. That's just a lie. Just because it was a lie doesn't mean that it's not real. Years, this show huh? is very much real. Trust me. Trust me. Is that a man I love, gay love? That is like so fucking lame. That shit is like so fucking lame. Okay. Right. Her sister keep harassing. Mm, don't get me started. She keep writing me. It's crazy. I had to block her. For real? Yeah, she's been writing me the last three days. Like, leave me alone. Like, seriously, like, stalking me is crazy. And that is absolutely ridiculous. It's like, why? You don't owe her nothing. You don't, mm -mm. no. Just in my DMs and then, like, posting stuff with me and fans are sending it to me. I'm just like, leave me alone. You don't even know the story. You don't know right. the And those type of people, listen, you got to ignore, you got to block her because they have no life. They just, you know, thing is, your sister's being portrayed how she was acting, and that's not your fault. So it is what it is. Somebody said she wants to be you, Lex. Right. They cloud. want cloud. They, they want cloud. They want cloud. Exactly. They forgot I'm the one with the bag. I'm the I'm the breadwinner. I guess you got us confused. You you probably wanted to be with me. She need to stop. Mm -hmm. What do you think, um, Mr. Sir James, um, of my situation up to the last episode you saw? <laughs> Your situation is crazy. The, okay, take this episode out of it. Do you think that their dates were inappropriate? Yeah, and if so, what not, about their dates? I wasn't dates man enough to cross them lines. Even on my dates, like, it's like, okay, this is different. Like, there's going to be some boundaries. Like, like you just, I, I just, I couldn't just cross those lines, especially, like, from day one, like, it was, it was all the way out of pocket. It, it was, what, what do you feel like in their dates was out of pocket? What on their dates was out of pocket? Just the whole dialogue. Some of it was like, it was just too much. It was too extra. It's like you coming in here, you coming here trying to kick down a 14 year off and on barrier in, in, in an hour. Like that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> 
<laughs> happened. That's too much. Even with uh, Sean and Ronda, that was two and a half years, almost three years. And I'm like, man, I'm not kicking that wall down. <laughs> like I didn't see, I didn't see no major issues in their relationship. You know, it went like it was domestic violence or cheating or drugs and mm-hmm. alcohol abuse or something like that. I was like, why? At the end of the angle, I was like, why are y'all here? Right, mm-hmm. right. Like, but yeah, same thing even with y'all. Like it was just too much there. Like if I hear 14 years on day one, it's like okay, well, he's just um, he's just gonna enjoy. <laughs> Evening, and then I'm going to holler at you. <laughs> do you think, because he did say something, and I'm going to just do a comparison, since my ex compared me to Darren, I'm going to compare him to Darren, with this comment about Darren saying he didn't see a successful marriage. Do you think that that is enough to deter you from moving forward? That's, that's... And he was talking about, because you didn't see that, sir, he was talking about in this episode, he's never... Um, seen a successful marriage. The only person he's seen was his grandparents to death did them part <laughs> because they died married. A lot of people self sabotage themselves. They mm. want to compare their situation to somebody else's instead of just living their own life. It's like some people really just program off of what they learn. It's like I, I tell folks all the time when you come adult, you got to rethink everything you've ever taught and think for yourself, okay. your own decisions. Is that the end of the, uh, we always program to believe this, believe that, like whether it's religion or relationships or whatever it is. Like, nah, you got to rethink everything you was ever taught. Like, I look back on some of the things my parents taught me, my grandparents. I look back now, I'm like, hell, I ain't doing that. That ain't for me. That ain't for the times today. I love y'all, but no, that ain't gonna work today. Yeah. I agree. I'm I'm with you on that a hundred percent. I'd be feeling like it's a cop out. And I felt like even on this episode, Dr. Nicole called him out on pretty much the part of him wanting to continue a cycle. So like for real. When you see it, you'll see, like, you know, he's getting called out on everything. You you kind of almost get hopeful for him a little bit as the episode is going. Like you're like, oh, he's finally kind of getting it and it's clicking. Um the uh, I don't want to give it away, but one of the things that he said that irked me, though, Lex, I'm not even going to lie, was when he was like, I'll get married for her. What? Yeah, that got me, that irked me a little bit. Because he was like, yeah, you she, like, she wanted my it. woman happy. I'm cutting it off. I'm like, what do you what do you want to do? But see, he contradicts himself a lot because he said, I want to marry her. And then he'll come back and say, I'll get married for her. And then he'll, but the stuff he would tell me at home is, I want to get married to you, but I want the kids first. And my whole thing was, I want to get married first before I want the kids. So it just didn't add up. It was stupid. Yeah. Manip- he said if they have kids, it'll add spice to it and it'll lock them in if they have kids first. And I was just like, what? 